<laughs> Psalm 119, 161 to 168. Sin in Shin, as it's described as. We find a summation at the end of his life, David, as to what is truly important. Okay, How would you summarize your life? What things would be listed as the most important things to you? David was persecuted many, many times without cause. A fact he admits, but does not dwell upon here. He depends on his God. Honor King Jesus. Hmm. Shin and Sin. It actually looks like teeth. Let me consider this meaning. As tenaciously holding on to that which is positive, God's word brings joy. Reason to be happy. To the psalmist's heart. To the psalmist's deepest thoughts. Okay. Joy. He rejoices. Rejoices. And he finds treasure in the scriptures. Ooh, precious treasures. Woohoo! Okay, sum up of this passage stanza. Love for God's word is the pathway to a life of obedience that brings what? Peace! And hope! Hope, 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 hope! <laughs> cool. Again, honor King Jesus. The Father and the Holy Spirit. The Triune God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why do the psalmist worship God seven times a day as described in Psalm 119, 164? Okay. Seven is often used in the Bible to represent fullness or completeness. Completion. Okay. The psalmist was expressing the importance of praising ah, God continually, not just seven times, continually praising God, rejoicing. Again, I say rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Honor King Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Hold on, let the truth be known. Truth is more than to each his own. So hold on, let the truth be known. 